To make this tractable, let's make a further simplifying assumption. Let's assume that the compressor temperature ratio is much larger than the fan temperature ratio. So that tau C, tau F, is approximately just equal to tau C. Basically, we're neglecting the fan work on the core. And this is also equivalent to saying that 1 plus alpha is approximately alpha. And with this, and writing that tau for the turbine is just this product, tau HPT, tau LPT, we can write theta naught, tau F, tau C, tau HPT, tau LPT, minus 1, times theta 4 over theta naught, tau F, tau C, is equal to theta naught, tau F minus 1. And so if we simplify this to tau C, this to tau C, and these two to tau t, then we can write theta naught tau c tau t minus 1 theta 4 over theta naught tau c is equal to theta naught tau f minus 1 which is a bit more tractable. And from this, we can directly solve for tau f, which is 1 plus theta naught tau c tau t minus 1 times theta 4 over theta naught tau c all over theta naught. And tau t is 1 minus theta naught over theta 4 tau f tau c minus 1 times 1 minus alpha theta naught tau f minus 1 over theta 4 minus theta naught tau f tau c minus 1. And this is just from the product tau hpt tau lpt. Therefore tau t is approximately 1 minus theta naught over theta 4 using the same simplifying assumptions tau c minus 1 times 1 minus alpha theta naught tau f minus 1 over theta 4 minus theta naught tau c minus 1. Multiplying these together, these two terms, and simplifying, what we get is that tau t is approximately theta 4 minus theta naught tau c minus 1 minus alpha theta naught tau f minus 1 all over theta 4. And then if we put that into the equation that we had for the fan uh, temperature ratio tau f, we get very long expression 1 plus theta naught tau c theta 4 minus theta naught tau c minus 1 minus alpha theta naught tau f minus 1 over theta 4 
minus 1 all times theta 4 over theta naught tau c and all of that is over theta naught and simplifying that we eventually can get to a more tractable result which is derived step by step in the notes but here I'll just give the final result 1 plus theta 4 plus theta naught 1 plus alpha minus tau c minus theta 4 over theta naught tau c all over theta naught 1 plus alpha. Now, if we apply this condition back to our thrust equation, again using tau c times tau f is approximately tau c, and tau t is tau hpt times tau lpt, we get that the specific thrust is approximately 1 plus alpha times 2 over gamma minus 1 theta naught tau f minus 1 square root of that minus m naught the flight speed 